Good morning, everyone. So I thought I would discuss something today that um, I've seen a, a, quite a bit in the last uh, two weeks, um, blue screens of death. Um, you're probably familiar with them. You probably um, have heard people talk about them. Um, and sometimes Windows 10 will self-correct and get a pass to blue screen of death. It usually follows a Windows update. Uh, especially with the older laptops and older older computers where um, the update wasn't exactly designed for your computer yet and if you've seen some of the other videos you talk about where I pause your updates or uh, how to undo them but let me show you a couple of examples of blue screens of death so this one is the common one I've been seeing uh, in the past couple of weeks uh, it's the blue screen of death and it says stop cold stop code critical process died now this is the best way to explain this is if you are a star trek fan uh the original series uh there was a a, a um, an episode where some type of entity had gotten into the enterprise's computer system and the only way to get it out was to basically intentionally do this um what this is is a critical process dies is it's a process but most times it's actually your processor that has died one of the cores or the entire processor dies as a part of the operation basically it gets stuck in a loop and it can't get out and it just keeps going and going and going and going and going and going and going and, going and, and it just it, it can't go anymore and so it just there's a there's a programming in a processor it says that if you can't do it anymore just die um, and so that's what this is. So this is basically your computer is stuck into a loop uh, for whatever the loop might be for what was programmed it, but it's basically find the last digit of pi. Um, and so it gets going and going and going and going and going and it gets stuck. And so the core will die and you will see this. There is no way to fix this other than to one, undo the update that was going through. Sometimes we can do that. Most times, though, we have to wipe and reinstall your computer. So this goes back to the previous video I put out, backups. Backups are incredibly important. This is the reason why. Um, it just is what it is, unfortunately. So, but this is one. The other ones, you know, critical service failed. Um, the services are, are not hardcore stuff, uh, like processors and stuff like this. Usually services are your cryptographic uh, communications between your processor and your hard drive or your RAM. Um, other services include like your networking to make sure that works. Um, there are probably about a hundred critical services in the Windows operating system. If any of them fail, you will see this. Again, the way to resolve this is if you can get into the diagnostic system, uh, you could try and do a step back um, or you could try and do a system restore to revert back to a previous time. But most times when you get to this and it gets stuck into it, uh, same with the other one, uh, you'll get stuck in an automatic repair reboot loop and it just keeps doing this and doing this and doing this and you can't get into it. Um, if you have a flash drive that has Windows 10 on it, you know, you could boot from that and, and see if you can get around it. But most times if you see you know, the, the critical service or the critical process died, the critical service, or this one, critical structure corruption. This is basically, yeah, this is almost always a wipe and reinstall. But um, the, these three, 90% of the time, unless you're kind of really techie, 90% of the time you're going to bring this to me. Um, simply, be so, simply because then we can rip your hard drive out of your computer um, and do a backup of your personal files um, where we can get your your documents and your photos and your videos and, and stuff like that and then we can reload up the operating system put on the basics that we put on everyone's computers uh, restore your personal files uh, hopefully they're not corrupted we just did one here a little while ago um, we restored the personal files and like 10% of them were just they were corrupted apart of the operating system so they were worthless they lost about 10 percent of their files and when this type of thing happens we do everything we can to preserve the data but sometimes it's even beyond our control so these three critical process critical service critical structure 
you're almost always going to bring it to me. Um, like I said, unless you're really techy and you know what you're doing. Um, yeah, you're, you're going to bring it to me because then we're going to, like I said, and you, if you let me know these three airs up front, then I know not even to try anything else, just pull the hard drive out, do the data recovery first. Because if, you know, you came in and told me you're getting a blue screen of death, I need to see what the blue screen of death is. Um, and so that sometimes causes a little bit more damage. So, yeah, if you see, if you've got these three, you're almost always going to bring them to me. Uh, there, there's just no way, no way around that. Um, so, again, this goes back to the previous video about backups, backups, backups. Um, and there's a video out there um, on my channel that shows you how to do the Windows 10 backup. Uh, there's two different ones, um, file history and uh, the old Windows 7 backup, which takes a snapshot of your computer and most of your software. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> if you've got one of these three, you're going to bring it to me. There's just no way around it. So, but yeah, I, would, I wanted to bring that up uh, because I've seen this uh, with this last series of updates that went through for Windows 10 2004 and the 1909 updates uh, on the older laptops that's just causing all sorts of havoc. Um, there's a video floating around about how to pause your updates. Um, so if you have an older laptop that's like three years or more, um, or even an older desktop, you might want to consider uh, pausing your updates for 35 days, let the updates go through at the end of 35 days, and then pausing them again just to save yourself from some headache. So, but that's the video for today. Uh, hopefully you that shared some knowledge and information with you to make your day a little bit better. If you found the video useful, like, share, and subscribe, please. There's our Facebook page if you need us. Um, if you need to get a hold of us, there's our phone number and there's our address. Like I said, give us a call first before coming over because during the day, I'm usually the only one here. And if I have to go on an emergency service call for a client, I got to close up the shop. I would hate for you to drive all the way over here and no one's here. So usually give us a call first just so you can schedule an appointment. So anyways, I'll talk to you a little later. You guys have a great day. Bye.